Welcome to Primary YPWW, Lesson 13. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is Hope in the Day of the Lord. Our lesson scripture is coming out of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 15. And that reads, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom wisdom given unto him hath written unto you the memory verse for today's lesson the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to usward not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and that second peter chapter 3 verse 9 the target for today's lesson the Lord wants children to know that the day of the Lord will come and they must prepare themselves to meet Jesus Christ. The introduction says, Peter wants to help the church. He knows that the coming of the Lord is certain. None will escape the day of the Lord. For some, it will be a great day. For others, it will be a terrible day of punishment and judgment. So Peter writes one final letter to stir up the people and cause them to remember. What's the problem? Peter says, remember the words that were spoken before by the holy prophets and remember the commandments of the apostles. Peter warns that in their last days, there will be scoffers, people who mock and ridicule you. They will do things to please themselves and deny the word of God. Peter adds that these people will choose to be willingly ignorant. They will be just like those who denied the flood in Noah's day. The first unbelievers died in the water. Peter warns 
that the sky and the earth is not reserved for fire on the day of judgment for all who are willingly ignorant this time around. But punishment and condemnation will only be for the wicked and ungodly. Every born-again believer will escape the judgment day of the Lord. Think on this. The righteous will instead experience the great and notable day of the Lord. This will be a victorious day for all of God's children. The godly with have will have eternal life in heaven. God does not want any to perish. He wants all to repent in order to escape the fire that will burn everything on earth, including the elements and sky. So Peter encourages believers to remain godly and be found of God in peace with spot and blameless. Thank God for his long suffering and salvation. The questions for today's lesson. And you can search the scriptures on your own. Make sure to ask for help from a grown-up. Question 1. What does the day of the Lord mean for the unrighteous? Question 2. What does the day of the Lord mean for the godly? And question 3. What are scoffers? How can God's long-suffering be a chance for salvation? The End God bless you and thank you for joining me today.